I have what you may not have. But trust me, you have what I do not have. That's a fact. You know it or you don't. Unfortunately, in the material world, success is gauged by how much money you have. And fortunately for a believer, we do know and we are convinced that that's not everything. Because had wealth been directly connected to the pleasure of the Almighty, the wealthiest of the lot would have been none other than Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, may peace be upon him. But he went through challenges, he lost in his life, his own children one after the other. Was he not loved by Allah? He was loved more than you and I, more than anyone and everyone. We call him Afdalul Khalqi wa Akramul Rusuli, the best of creation, the most noble of all prophets. That's what we call him. That's what we believe. That being the case, he went through challenges. He went through hardship. People spoke negatively about him. Don't they speak negatively about us? Would that not then be a sign of the love of the Almighty when you face a challenge? I look at it from that particular angle that when the Almighty says, I've created you to test you. When we were young, we used to wonder, what is it all about? But I promise you, as you grow older, you realize from the moment of birth, you are being tested and those tests become meaningful once you hit puberty. And thereafter, you're on your own because now the angels begin to write whatever you say or do or whatever you are worth. Your corrections are beautiful because we have something known as deleting the bad that I may have done in the past. So therefore, don't lose hope. You're never a write off. Never. No matter where you are, what you've done, where you've been in the past, the past is exactly that. It's the past. So Muhammad, peace be upon him, went through challenge upon challenge. They said things about him. Wow. They called him a sorcerer. They called him someone who's just after money and power. They said so many nasty things. Some of these nasty things, don't they say about us? Well, I tell you, that is a sign that the Almighty has chosen you to go through this test, similar to that of his most beloved. So don't worry. Take it in your stride. Seek the help of the Almighty.